All month long, we've been honoring black history. Tonight, as we continue our Hidden History series, you'll meet very different men with one thing in common. A retired pastor, a former middle school principal, and an award-winning author. Each was a Boy Scout. And as Don Roberts tells us, among the first African Americans in their communities to achieve that prestigious rank of Eagle Scout. The first of what were then called colored or Negro Boy Scout troops in the nation was founded in Elizabeth City, North Carolina in 1911, a year after scouting began. Troops in Virginia soon followed, but it wasn't until 1925 that Boy Scouts of America recorded the first Negro to earn scouting's highest award, the Eagle, Edgar Cunningham of Troop 12 in Waterloo, Iowa. I think I was the fourth or fifth Eagle Scout in the state of New Jersey. Retired Hampton pastor Harold Pinkston remembers the year 1949. At 17 years old, he became the fifth Negro in New Jersey to earn the Eagle Scout badge. He and his seven brothers were members of Troop 42 at a church his dad pastored. Wow. Scouting is one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. Next to, next to, the experience that I had with my roommate, Martin Luther King Jr. Reverend Dr. Pinkston says he shared a dorm room with Martin Luther King Jr. while both studied in Boston. Pinkston went on to earn nine degrees. We had a Boy Scout troop in our church, Zion Baptist Church uh, on 20th Street. Jim Chevious is a former principal of Huntington Middle School in Newport News. And of course, I uh, used to see the things going on in the church with the uh, uh, Boy Scout troop, and uh, I said, boy, that looked like fun. His father died when he was four, and he says Scoutmaster Tommy Owens helped fill the void. He was a strong disciplinarian. Chevious earned his eagle in 1949 and retired after 24 years in the Air Force, was principal of Huntington Middle School from 1998 to 2003. He gives much credit for his success to Scoutmaster Owens. He wanted every boy in that troop to believe that they could do anything and be anything that they wanted to be. Randolph Walker was the first African American to earn an Eagle Scout badge in West Point, Mississippi in 1986 in a troop based at a Mormon church. And I didn't really have a black person I could look to and say, that is the person I want to be like. So I had to look at these white guys and say, I want what they have. One key thing Rand Walker wanted knowledge. He earned a law degree and is an award-winning author, having written at least 18 novels under the pen name Rand Walker. He's also an assistant professor at Hampton University and shares a critical lesson he learned in earning his eagle. It shows what you can do. So when you're confronted with other things in your life, you can point to that and say, well, I persevered and I got it done so I can do it again. Don Roberts, Wavy News 10. You can see all of our hidden history stories right now over on wavy.com. Just click on Black History Month under the News tab. And be sure to watch our hidden history special report coming up Sunday. You can watch it at 11 a.m. on Fox 43 or right here on Wavy TV 10 at 1130.